Hey folks, are welcome back to another Paul Mass video, and today let's talk a bit about some of the, you know, upgrades, uh, you know, new other stuff that I missed or didn't talk about in the other video. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the Lodge unit this this month. So we got Lodge Kalum. It's a, it's a strike striker with, uh, with Fennekin. So I did remember correctly, it is Fennekin, look at that. So, Fennekin, this one's a, it's a fire type, we ground. It's a striker, right? Yep. And all right, let's, let's check out its, its stuff. So super duper effective five, um, super interference four. Okay, raise chance of the chance condition as well. Okay, why is it called super interference four? Why not? Okay, whatever. Uh, healthy super hit, a super effective up next, uh, when your HP is full, when you're the battle. Cool. What else? Uh, so, the five star stats. Let's see, at 150, 348 special attack, 671 HP, um, irrelevant defenses, and, uh, not that great speed. Uh, okay, um... Uh, all right sure <laughs> yeah there's 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 not a really there's yeah there's no good stats here <laughs> there's no good stats here folks uh, let's see what else I got um heat wave side beam what really I mean oh that's I guess that's where the super interference comes in I guess uh, all right okay X special attack and train to move battle beside you, raise accuracy by one, raise crit by three, ra uh, apply free move next to the user. Not looking great so far, <laughs> folks. Not gonna lie, this, uh, this is not looking very hot right now. Let's see. What do we got here? Synchrid, Heat Wave stuff, Super Freebie 2. That's okay. Burden Synergy 3. Because right now it's really for a striker whose main. Roll is supposed to be doing damage. This damage looks pretty trash. Like, pretty bad um, offensive stats. Right. Heat wave, not a very high base power move. I guess it's... I guess it's not bad for, like, a 3-gauge move. In comparison to, like, the, your average. But it's not, like, anything crazy. And then, you know, the multipliers are kind of um, hurting as well. She's got, like, super duper effective 5, which obviously, you know... It's basically zero against non-super effective stages. What else? Um, Natural Remedy, Scorching Sink 5, Dauntless, Charging Confusion 4. Okay, 3% chance of move, move gauge plus 2 against confused opponents. Oh, okay. So, okay. Right, super, so, okay super Interference is both. Uh, it's just, they just, like, put, um, in interference and, like, hostile environment into, like, one. Okay. Alright. I, yeah, I, I didn't read the status condition earlier. Alright. Um, Baffle Buff 3. Powers up use moves when the target's confused. And sync moves as well. Okay. Powers of 3. Ramp up 1. Catalyst. Uh, no, this, this, this unit's a bit of a flop. Um, but this unit is not that good at first glance i mean it could be like a nice you know um bit of a option for like yuxi which i do believe yuxi is if i remember correctly right yeah it should be in the next um gauntlet rotation so that's cool but like outside of that it's uh kind of looking kind of rough looking kind of rough um for the rest of its kit so that's slightly unfortunate all right, all right, next, let's let's check out the, the Zamazenta over here. Or the Zamazenta up, upgrade, I guess. Um, power boost. So, obviously, we're going to have the, the EX, right, with the first part of the villain arc. So, we're just getting the... Should be a grid expansion, right, over here. Uh, let's see what we got. All right. Um, is, is there an easy way to see? Okay, it should... Should be these at the bottom, right? 
So free special defense plus 20 and defense plus 20. All right, so just both defenses plus 20 for free. Uh, what else? Take hit, super effective up next for... Huh? I think I'm like a pseudo damage healer as well. I mean, sure. But it's only like for super effective though. So it's literally only like versus steel sages, which you don't you don't use them with like steel teams only, right? Also, he's just not that good with steel teams because most steel teams are very slow, and he's not a fantastic unit for gauges. He does like have free revenge for, but a that's incredibly unreliable, <laughs> and b without that he is really bad. Gage is like, he's 292 speed, which is very slow, right, at 150. So, like, uh, all right. I mean, again, the, like, the him doing damage part is not, like, bad. Like, it's, it's a neat idea, right? But, like, why limit it to versus steel type stages when he's not that good with steel teams? <laughs> he's just not... That good with a lot of steel teams. Um, yikes. Quick cure and first aid four natural remedy. I mean, quick cure and natural remedy are always good. First aid four is good, so yeah, those are those are W's. I mean, again, the super effective up next, it's fine, but like, who are you gonna run him with, man? Molane? Cause Molane's like, he's like the only like relatively fast <laughs> steel type damage healer, like. What else is there? Because everyone else is pretty darn slow, right? Uh, is is him? Is is he fast? Okay, he, yeah, I guess. T but Tate's also like special, right? He's one of the rare, and you know, hops a physical support. He's like one of the rare, like special. <laughs> um, still that damage healers. Oh uh, yeah, okay. T Tate's not like super slow or whatever, but Tate's also not like fast either um guess him but he's not much of a damage healer but also if he's just um yeah he's, he's just a he, literally he's just it's just a sink nuke unit <laughs> if you want to talk about damage at all but he's he's not he's not he's not super slow he does give you a move gauge acceleration and you do have the freebie right free move next I mean, he was like screech or whatever Thunder wave. Is there anyone else? This guy's slow. He's not fast. He's really slow. Um, unless you get the free move next thing, which I mean, good luck, I guess, if you have about five or five. <laughs> uh, she's not fast. She's really slow, in fact. Right. Okay. It. She is. She's all right. Yeah, she's she has really, really good base speed. And she does have a few uh, move gauge refreshes on Bohemian Blade. There's two of them, right? I don't believe she got any other speed stuff in that recent Ford 55 expansion. But, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There's Gloria, there's Gloria, I guess. Yeah. Run the double sword and shield uh, legendaries. But, yeah, he's, he's the fast one. He's, he's the really fast one. And that's kind of it. Like, he's slow, right? Okay. Okay. Again, it's not, like, it's not that bad, but it's, it's something. It's something. But the other stuff. Natural Remedy, Quick Cure, and First Aid 4 are definitely all really, really nice. So, that's good, at least, right? Next up, let's uh, let's check out the Ingo one, right? So, this is a 5-5. 5 5 5 5 I believe, right? Expansion for Ingo and Excadrill. Which was already, you know, just always a solid, nice support, right? Even though it's been, been a while since he came out. But anyways, alright, so our, he's the 2 out of 5. We got Embending. Sandslinger 9. That's, again, that's the minus 1 accuracy against the opponent in Sandstorm, right? Attack him. Uh, at 4 out of 5. Vigilance at 5 out of 5. Stalwart 2 out of 5. Sandstorm Team Head and Heal at 4 out of 5. And Revenge Boost 9 at 5 out of 5. Uh, they're not bad. 
I guess. They're not bad. Uh, team hit and heal is nice. Revenge boost 9 is nice. The others I don't really care too much for. Off the top of my head, is there any, like, big damage healer that has multi- Or that, you know, Sandstorm damage healer that has multipliers based on debuffing physical attack? I- yeah, off the top of my head, I don't- I can't think of any. Yeah, no, not really, I guess. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't think that's part super useful. And, um, Vigilance, you can just roll lucky skill, so, you know. Uh, but they're doing nice, I, I think. They're doing nice. I'm betting and uh, Stalwart at 2 out of 5 are pretty decent 2 out of 5 notes as well, so... I mean, yeah, it's it's one of those uh, sort of four to five five fives where it's like yeah, it's solid, but like you could also totally live without it because it's um, expensive. So, <laughs> all right, uh, there's there's that I guess. Uh, next up, we have the spotlight expanded, you know, expansion of the month, which is a Berg and the Ivani. And uh, let's let's check it out, I guess. So we have um, special attack plus twenty and HP plus forty. That's interesting um considering he is a pretty you know speed ish unit i'm slightly surprised that it's hp and not speed because he doesn't really have much to do with hp and he actually has you know some stuff to do with speed so i don't know anyways um what else we got plus it's like it's a damage healer right so uh healthy healing well now there's something to do with hp healthy healing Furious Brain, that's nice. Super duper effective three. And Critical Eye on Scurry Head. Um, this is okay. I mean, if you compare it to like some of the other units that got their like stuff expanded, right? If you compare it to some like uh, Chris or um, Miss Magius, right? Uh, or, or even Karen, something like that. It's not really that good in comparison. But, I mean, does it help uh, Berg and fix some of his issues? Definitely, right? Definitely fixes some of his issues here. Um, one being the damage is not that good. They gave it a bit more damage, right? I mean, you know, that's 60% versus um, super effective stages. And the other thing is the crit thing, and you got crit buffs there. Yay! Wouldn't be better if it was... Crit I2 instead of 1, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess, in this case. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, this is like a 4 out of 10 expansion where it's like, it's not, it's not. You know, you got some stuff there, right? But it's also, the, there's some th weird decisions here and there, and um, with the HP stuff, and also the crit I could have been a bit better as well, so <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a glass half empty sort of situation over here. But uh, yeah, you can't uh, can't complain too much, I guess. So it's all right. It's all right. Anyways, uh, that's been this one, I guess. Uh, hope you all remember, guys. Think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos. We're channel for more Palm as content. Um, overall, I'd say uh, uh, none of these are like fantastic. None of these is really just you know up off the page is like oh, oh this thing is game changer or whatever um but you know it's it's, 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 it's okay i guess <laughs> right most of these are free um obviously the ingo one is very very much not free but like outside that i mean lodge kalem is just straight up free because like you know the regular kalem which you need to unlock lodge kalem is completely free and uh you know berg's been in the game a very long time right it's only a, a three out of five expansion so that's not too bad right and then um yeah hops amzent though again straight up free so they're free they're free so at least three out of these four are free so anyways yeah that's me this one i guess uh wait i already said that i already did it anyways whatever um like subscribe all the stuff uh unfortunately i um i was i was i was hoping to actually do this video after 
the other video uh, where I go over like the new units, uh, but apparently uh, the, the 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 sites are having some issue updating some of the new units, so that might yeah that might come a bit later. But um, stay tuned, I guess. But uh, some of those units are really really nice. That it, the the ones that I've seen so far. Um, so uh, very interesting stuff. Anyways, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one.